just as a holy cow, I didn't know this before, and I can't believe I didn't know this before, is I just drank a potion of strength, and when you drink a potion of strength, look at this, one, two, three strikes, and you're out. I'm done mining that whole note. Usually it'll take four. It is taking less to actually get through it. I did not realize that melee damage counts also as extraction, so... Yeah, bonus tip, and wow, I wish I would have known that sooner. Honestly, that's awesome, because now I might have a real problem. It's time to drink a lot of rye beer and a lot of plum wine. My guys. Greetings and welcome back. Here are Don and I. We just got back from a little bit of a hunt and also wrapping up some things around here. You will see that I'm taking a bunch of linen thread because I need to get the linen fabric made last night. What I did was made a bunch of bronze bars. I took everything that I could and just kept melting it down at the smithy at the other location and made sure that we had a ton of that just sitting around. I suppose I could steal those coins. Still have copper bars sitting around, of course. It's going to be that way because we, we get way more copper when we're going into the, into the um, mines than we do the tin. We're good on firewood. I'm happy there. Black seeds, we're ready for next season because we are going to go heavy on that. And let's see here. I had to switch over some of my workers to do... I had to switch them over so we could take care of some of this oat. Because we ran out of... Really, we ran out of manure, right? And that's a problem. We don't got enough manure to work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do clean up and decorate today. And I'll do as much as I can on camera before I start feeling like, man, it's boring. Y'all are going to... I don't know how much fun this will be. And of course, you all have the power to fast forward, so I know you'll do that if you want and if you need. So, thanks for being here. Always appreciate having you here. And we're continuing through this series because I want to see if we can get to that max tech by year seven. And that's the current challenge I'm on, in case you're kind of new here and you're like, what is the challenge here you're talking about? Um, hmm? That is where we are at, because I'm trying to max out my tech by year seven. That was a challenge given to me by Dwayne John, and I am excited to try it. And I tell you what, I have learned a lot in the process of doing this, and I love it. I love the fact that the challenge has pushed me to really think about what I do, and then change some of my behaviors in the game. And learn a lot, right? We're currently at building tech of 5,538.8, survival of 2,826.7, mm, not great. This one needs to. This one needs some work. Only getting to 5,000 feels like not much, but you're probably noticing how slow this goes up. Farming tech is at 3,730. I was originally not very worried about that, and then I got more worried about it. But the apiary, I think, is going to make a big difference on that. And production, of course, is the most, the largest part of the challenge, which is 4,555.7, and that's going to be the challenge because it seems to be rising well. But I don't have a lot of time left. That's the trick. Now, when I was hunting, I did gain another skill point, and I did not want to spend that off camera. I wanted to show you all what I was up to. I have been going back and forth as to whether I think this is even worth my time. I know that this is good in the sense that if I took the time to just do the traps every time, I'd be getting a small bump of experience every single time. So that'd be great, because I could clearly get to level 9 in no time doing it. Well, actually, no, I think the tracks, uh, traps actually give you survival tech, so I cancel that. It would give me survival tech. Great, I think I'm maxed out there. It would give me tech, but the amount of tech it's going to give me if I have 5 traps is uh, 25 per time that I go through them. So that's 50 tech per time I check it, which I could do twice per day, which is 100 per day, which is not bad when you consider it. I have to remember to do it. And it's not a bad idea. Fearful Hunter, I think, is great because getting more resources off the animals is a big deal. It is handy. It's nice getting that extra leather and extra meat because that allows me to craft and whatnot. So this was kind of a no-brainer for me. I don't mind having faster draw speed if I was using crossbow. So for me, it's not needed because I use the recurve bow and uh, I don't think I need that too much. So I think for now, Trapping Master might actually be the go. But it requires sticks and stones constantly, which is the other hassle. But it would be nice to get on this and help the tech. Then I'm going to try that one. Speaking of which, the biggest thing we need to do today, Donny. Donkey of my donkeys. Donkey of donkeys. Is we need to get a new recurve bow. I broke it last night. I was in the middle of hunting Vicent out by the, um, you know, where the swamp is, right? And I'm sitting there in the swamp area, 
and I'm hunting these, uh, I end up with four bison that I'm hunting, and it was a hoot because what ended up happening was my bow breaks in the middle of getting two of them, they charge me, and of course it's uh, back and forth hunting, and uh, or back and forth running, and I, uh, I definitely did not survive. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I totally lived. The uh, What actually happened was I took out the spear and I just finished him off. And for me, I find that style of hunting to work really well because the bison really don't navigate terribly well. And they definitely get stuck. They get stuck so easily on uh, trees. They can't navigate past them. So I was able to... I was able to just kind of run around them. Just like you've seen me do before. No, I was joking. I, I've i gotten it down, I think, to almost a science how well I can get the, um, how well I can deal with them at this point. The bears, mmm, bears are a little trickier to balance out because they, they can turn and immediately attack you, which is fine and great. We're going to do part of this work with the rot on our own for this, just because I know I have two major loads of it and we'll get it done. This is handy. We kind of need this fertilizer, this 238 fertilizer, because we only have 100 in the stock right now, and it's not the best. Since next season, we have a lot of farmland. I mean, we have a lot of farmland. Oh, people keep running into each other. And I love it because it's getting us a lot, and I think that farming is a, a great way to build skill and build value or build money in the game early on. At this point, we are nearing automation with our gathering of stones and sticks, which is the better way to go, obviously. All right, and I know Don has meat in his inventory, so we gotta transfer that out on our next run and get the last bits of rot in there. Let's go. Now, it's tempting to have the villagers do the rot work, but I already have them working on grains, I have them working on fertilizer for manure, so I do believe that we're set there. And I'll just have my character make these furts, so we're good to go. Dropping off the meat first off, and today is going to be all about, I need a new bow, I need a new bow, I need a new bow. And perhaps it'd be worth finishing things up with some production, maybe even some just working around the area. I mean, at this point, oh, gee, look at that. And just notice that I did not put my linen fabric away when I went oh, to the resource storage. And I do need to do that. For those who are in the who actually watch me mostly for Sengoku and happen to be watching this one, I am having a lot of trouble with crashes right now, so I will be getting that next episode up as soon as possible. It's just that for some reason it is constantly crashing on me. So I only get about six minutes into my recording and suddenly, boom, we are locked. So I'll look into that and see what I can do to fix that problem. And I'll get back to recording there too. I have a good village started there. Speaking of having a good village started, we also have this one here. Now I do have some of that linen fabric which I'm going to keep for our fish traps, which we are definitely going to go install right about now. And I'll get some sticks by the water. Since I'm not going to be stealing sticks from my peoples. Since, uh, oh, that was not close enough. Silly man. But luckily, I can just do this. There we go. Did we actually pick it up? Or did I move away too fast? I think I moved away too fast. Oh, I see. You're going to tell me I'm too far? <laughs> not anymore. I'll crouch down and grab it. Okay. Got fabric, I managed to keep the fabric, but I need the thread. And next season we are going to be sitting on... We are going to need a lot more th of the... Uh, I'm going to need a lot more flax, that's for sure. Planks are okay. Logs are good. Double checking things. Firewood's fine. Let's see here. Planks will drop pretty quick, but not quick enough. There we go, look at that, sticks. Sticks are too low, so we need to micromanage a moment. I did transition a couple people out, as you remember from last time. I put some people who are level 4s in. Let's raise this up. And we're trying to dial this in pretty... Ah, uh, yes. See, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's getting... Yep, mm-hmm. 
lots of 100s in here. Don't really want to lower the logs too much just because I do still need stuff. Next season I can really go at it though. Because next season I don't need... I don't need to worry about the firewood being a problem in the next season. Let's dial that in like that. I can drop this down. That should do a number for us. Okay, let's try that. Let's use that as our current setup. I'm going to need some rocks for my rabbit traps. And I think I've been, in general, putting all of my traps up by the farmland, since I seem to find myself there a lot, but that's, I think, not going to happen right here and right now. Instead, I will probably be finding myself over here more often, since this is where my fish traps are going to be. So let's just put them all in this zone together. Now I left that fence up there as a way to mark off where I want to put my future developments. And I am going to eventually, once we get the challenge done at year 7, I'm going to raise the building limit so that we can have way more space for building things. But for now, it's not fair for the rules of the challenge to add more buildings because then I could just, you know, just get infinite villagers and build infinite houses and I would definitely win the challenge. I mean, it's not infinite, but if I double the amount of villagers and I double the amount of places we could build, then yeah, I'm going to probably do better. But that's not the challenge. The challenge is to get there with the base level and with what I had already started with. When I think back to how I started the game, I had a great start and then I kind of just cruised and just went casual for a long while. And I think I made good progress, but there's definitely that fact that I could have managed my villagers ever, ever so slightly better. Ever so slightly. I'd say a lot better. There's a lot of cases where I definitely wasted a little space with what they were doing. And I could have definitely maxed out what they were doing and raised their skills earlier. That's something that I think, hindsight, I would do that again. I would be so focused on just maxing out skills right at the beginning. Get them to tens as quick as you can. That'd be my goal. Alright, looks like we're low sticks again. And that's a real bummer. Oh no, I know what that's about. Hmm. That's a problem, we can't have that. Okay, that problem, in particular, that problem is that we're running out of pickaxes. And I know that that's been... That's something that's been sitting in the background on me, unfortunately. Because I have so darn many workers. And I can't have stone dropping too fast. So we're going to take a stack here. We're going to overload us. And we are going to notice that the planks are incredibly low. We're going to take all the logs. And what we're going to do is we're going to make pickaxes like mad. We'll make 24 pickaxes. That should get us by for a while. Bronze pickaxes have a durability of 200, and stone pickaxes have a durability of 70, which means it takes about three of these per one bronze pickaxe. The problem is, I don't feel like that's worth it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait till we get to iron, and instead we'll focus more on, let's just get them through this. Let us get our people done with this particular part of things. Oops, I need these stones. The next step is planks because we're about to run low there there we go see that that's taking care of part of the need we're about to have a plank issue I do not need that many planks actually I don't know who I'm kidding I'll need that many planks because I also have houses to upgrade so we're gonna keep up with that I'm confident that we're gonna see that sticks of the issue so if we do this real quick let's check under production smithy tells me it's definitely the sticks yeah Sticks are huge for us right now. Five sticks per knife, and we're making massive amounts of knives. There we go. That takes care of that. I can pop a bunch of sticks in here just for a while, just to keep the just to keep the system running. And then that means I will go to the waterfront, and I will gather up the more sticks and <laughs> take care of the traps. There's a lot of maintenance going on at this level. A lot of maintenance at this particular level of things. This area is going to be a nice sitting area for the peoples, and I do want to get that done because I do feel like it's going to add some value to the area and start to, you know, feel like we're actually making a village and rather than just kind of running around and just maintaining the spaces I want to actually have 
a beautiful village happening here. Speaking of which, we want a beautiful village. We're going to want to start building this thing up. Let's build some things. Let's build some traps. Not enough resources. Oh my goodness, did we use up all the threads? <laughs> of course we did. Bird traps are a big deal. Okay, and I should have enough of those sitting somewhere else. Haha, <laughs> put it be dukes. Put it be dukes. Box you up. There we go. Trap lane have exceeded. We are here by the water. We have traps there. Perfect. Oh, we are done. Okay. That's nice to have that setup going on. I'll come back down here and check them. And check to see that we got some fish and some rabbits and some birds. We'll just take them and we'll toss them in the inventory of the village. And we will eat ourselves some bird meat and rabbit meat. Yum. All right. Another thing I can start doing, since I have a large collection of sticks, is I can also expand the amount of work we have going on up here. I think it's also worth expanding the orchard. Like, I like this space for the orchard. I think it's going to look good. And I think I'd like to expand the orchard on this side as well. I do want to rethink how I'm organizing some of this. So we do have our pathway here, right? Good, and that matches the pathway here. Next thing to think about is how we match up our pathways on this side. Part of the part of what's going on up here though is utilitarian in the sense that I have these fields here because they do the job and that's all that I care about right now is that I want them doing the job. This is just not thought out. Just not at all. And I don't want to make too much of an addition here without first off consulting what my plan is. And I am going to end up with an expanded housing area over here. As in, I don't want them packed like that. That's not going to be the future for them. Well, that's enough of that. It's time to get back to work. So here, let's see, what can we do? Gather sticks, honestly. Sticks are the problem. Mm. And what a problem they are. Yeah, look at that. Lots and lots of sticks. I think, for me... The character, oh, and Linda Threat, mm, that was a mistake. I did forget about the fact that I still had them making Linda Threat. That is a silly thing to have done. All right, well, that being the case, I can drop this down to zero temporarily, and I can tell you to max out shovels, because that's an easy producer. And I could see... Let's see here, I think we're going to be okay... Oh wait, there was another thing I wanted to look into. I wanted to look into our herbalist hut. I'm concerned, yeah, I'm concerned that they aren't doing diddly-poo. And they are not doing diddly-poo. Is there anything that counts in the winter? Yeah, I should figure. Let's have them make poison. Now this is, of course, this is miserable, right? Because here I am sitting here like, oh, shoot, what are they going to do? And I have forgotten about them. And that's a problem, right? If I'm going to try to get this stuff done, I can't be forgetting about my people doing the work, right? So that was a problem. And of course, this is where this is where progress gets slowed, is by making mistakes like this. So that's silly, but hey, that's the part of learning, is making errors. Let's have them get these things done. That'll be nice to have some of these things around. I should have tons of water. Now, wooden vials, no. No, I do not have tons of wooden vials. But I do have a few, right? I should have a collection of them based upon all the stuff I've drank over the times. 42, so that tells you how much I'm going at that. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. So that's good fun. I have way too many shovels. I don't need more shovels. But it's there. And it's producible. Good to see the straws a little lower. Pickaxes are holding tight, and ooh, stones dropping like a fly. Go figure. Going to. Part of that is because we weren't producing for a while. Oh, people. I still haven't gotten my reflux bow. All right. With that, let's go to town. Let's just do some selling. Fertilizers at 580. That's good. Firewood is not good. So we will we will max that out before we go. 
and I think that that'll finish us out for the season. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wooden vials, there's no way they're going to get 42 made, so I'm not going to stress that. And wool, I could easily go make these into fabric, which would be nice. Hmm. Pickaxes are doing okay. I was going to see if I need to stock myself up on that. Otherwise, I need more potions, because as we discovered last time around, as we discovered last time around, uh, it is really handy to have potions of strength on hand when you're doing your mining, since it does give you a... It gives you a buff to actually mining faster. So that's awesome. I'll we'll take 130 of these. Stone knives are silly to take, but I have 800 of them. So I don't want to keep storing them, right? Let's get on that donkey and ride. Onward. Oh, he's going to be a little too overloaded. That's okay, because what we can do is we can balance things out. Let's balance. We'll do some things here. I laugh at that moment because I see that I've just... I'm in too much of a hurry thinking about the next thing I want to do and not thinking about what I'm currently doing. Common problem with me. Alright, get a sip of coffee. That'll help. And then let's get the firewood in there. And then let's get the sticks and stones in there because there is no reason why those are sitting with me right now. Hey, look at that. New level of extraction. How did I get a new level of extraction? Would be the question of the day. Anyway, that's pretty funny. I'm glad I got a level of extraction. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, Donnie. Oh, there's the cat talking. She wants to make sure you understand that she is here watching too, and she's uh, critical of the choices I'm making. She says, hey, I'm pretty sure I watched you waste a lot of time not doing much. You could have been organizing your stuff more. Make sure you do that next time, human. She also says you could have been petting your cat the entire time, and I don't see why you wouldn't be. There we go. Now she's got to take up a spot. All right, these two traps I can get at. Should be able to get at them if I stop right about here. Yes, just enough. When I come back, I'll make two new traps for this. Let's roll. Let's go. There we go. Having the trap limit a little higher should be helpful. I mean, I do... I do think it's worthwhile to have us uh, trying to contribute to that tech, especially since I'm, especially since I messed up that whole thing. I am going to definitely upgrade the hut, the herbalist hut, so that we can have two workers there at some point. Since there might be a time where I want to really max that out. Oh, look a lynx! Look a look a look a look a lynx! Lynx, I find to be the least useful thing to hunt in the entire game. They're fast enough to be a problem to get away. They give you basically nothing. And there's really no point. There's just no point in hunting them. So, they're there. And if you enjoy hunting all of the things, make sure you hunt lynx, because they're a great challenge. They're small, hard to catch up with. You can catch up with them. I've definitely chased them down. Uh, not easily. And definitely, <laughs> definitely by using stamina potions and by making good choices in where I run and good choices in where they choose to go to. Move on. I gotta keep my camera rolling when I do my Weissen hunting because uh, that's fun to um, do the bob and the weave with the uh, iron spear. We'll head on into town here. We'll watch our production problems occur at a distance. Look at them balancing out between the production of sticks and between the use of sticks. It's just so many sticks. I could really use an entire army of people gathering sticks. Look at that. We went from one to four. So many things happening. Hey, old friend. Well, hello there. Do you know what I'm here for? I'll give you one hint. Selling stuff. I don't want to buy nothing from you. You don't have any money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy my Reeker bow from you. We're gonna buy two so that we're not thinking about it later. Want to see my wares? Have yes, a nice indeed. Day. Alrighty, you there. I hope you still have Hello? some. I hope you still have some money on you. Not much. Whatever okay. you need, I've got good. I'm luck. sure you do. Honestly, I believe you, man. I believe you. Oh, where's our bartender man? He out and about. He's in the kitchen. Ooh. Oh, he's, like, he's in the background. He's hiding out on me. You there, sir. You can't hide from me. 
Actually, yes, you can. Oh, there he is. I'm just handling right. barrels. There we go. That's the guy we want. Oops, I speed bought an amber figurine. <laughs> That's funny. Too fast to click in. All right. It's only the best product. You know it. Same here. Uh, speaking of the best products, would you? Could you? Could I interest you, you right. in a large stack of small, simple bags? Also, what do you think about 300 knives? Wants to see my wares? See you around. Yeah. Ah, uh, the people of this world, wondering what is wrong with me. Alrighty, I could always use a more rye beer. I think I would love to try the plum wine thing. I can probably get my character absolutely lit and, uh, sl I mean, totally sloshed, unfortunately. How is because it? I'm going to have him consuming so much booze. You get 100% melee damage with the plum wine, but you also get a ton of boozed up. Let's see here. This is me checking to see if there's anything worth purchasing at low, low costs. Hmm, nothing really striking my eye. I mean, I could buy the poo, but I have a lot of fertilizer. And nothing striking my fancy. Wooden bowls, eh, 36 of them. That's not bad, because I do not want to waste a lot of my stuff on making them. Wooden plates at one, that's fine by me. And the reason for that, of course, is that it doesn't take my stuff away from me. And that's a go. We go. Can I interest you? So long. Ah, uh, goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Now the next thing to do is to get potions, because there's I always more potions. I can always use more potions. Always try to get one more of those. I think the potion of Eminas we should go with. Now here we are. Potion of sobriety doesn't cost me much at all, so I think we're about to do some things here. This gives me plus 50% more damage, and it cost me 10. Hmm. Not bad, but not quite at the level I'm looking to min max. I'm looking to totally. Only the best. Oops, sorry. Have a good day. Giddy up. I'm looking to see what I can get away with. I'm looking to see exactly what I can get away with when I go all out and drink plum wine and rye beer and mine. If I can get it to two strikes per. That's the goal. That's what I'm going to try to do here. You there. I have an experiment to run, sir. It involves booze. 150% more damage. Oh, check that. We'll get one of you. One of you. It's for science. Come on. It's for science, people. A couple more rye beers. Who knows? I might have my villager trying to get a party going on, and I better be ready. I'll be fully stocked for that party. Best goods in you know it. All right, we've gotten everything we can from this village. I'm out here. I'm out here. Move on. Now, I don't think I've sold in Klonica yet, so let's go there. I could gather sticks while I'm here. Seems pointless. Oh, it's you again. You know it. It's always me. Let's roll. I am the reason you are in business. Can we be real? I mean, the amount of money that I'm giving y'all. Oh, my goodness. The economy runs on one guy running one set of one village in the middle of this area. All right, you there. We've had fun with each other before. Thanks for that knife, by the way. It's great. Let's take that from you, and that from you, and that does it, sir. You, sir. Can I interest you in some of my words? Not anymore, but I appreciate you. All right. That being the case, let's get our recurve bow set up, and let's be set for the time. Hmm, night vision, stamina, sobriety, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Plum juice? Mm-hmm, 50 water. All right. Ah, me, ooh, 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 bob and weave. Bob, weave, bob, weave, bob, weave, go, Don, go, run through town, quick, go, go faster. They can't stop us if we rush out of town. All right, you, oh, there he is, mm. Just practicing riding a bike for when it gets invented a few years down the road. He's really focused. I mean, it takes real, it takes serious How focus I to levitate. You? I mean, let's be real. I mean, every time I try, super focused. You gotta be super focused. All right, well, let's do this. Can drop things off here in the resource storage. I get such a kick out of watching the, um, look at the production go up and down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, if I can show up with a couple of sticks, I might be able to get one or two more things produced before the end of the day from Giddy our up. villagers. 
Ah, uh, get those sticks. 12 sticks allows two of my workers to finish yep. two knives. It's not, it doesn't feel like that's going to be terribly useful. The key is getting the balance down. So I'm going to run the math. Uh, I'll run the numbers at some point here just so we can check it. So you can see this. It's not really worth me guessing. I did, um, I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, you can see that we have workers in there. That's another reason why the stick balance is totally out of whack. Is because I actually added two more workers in there. Because I want, I'm worried about the production, the production side of things, right? Well, that's how you deal with the production side of things. You add more producers. Okay. That does it. Now, we're going to head back to the village. What Let's we're go. Do. The reason for this is yeah. that the end of the day is essentially upon us. And what I need to bull, what I need to do is run full speed into a birch tree. We will upgrade those rubes in due time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back. When we get back, I am going to be making stuff. And when I say making stuff, I mean I am going to do as much as I can with the end of the season making food and also making some just general goods. Don't need bronze arrows anymore. I will mass produce some copper knives. Admittedly, perhaps that's a worthwhile thing to do with one of our guys. And girls, our smiths. Perhaps that is a worthwhile venture here. You need to keep making pickaxes, that's for sure. I think we can do this to raise that up a bit. Pickaxes are a concern. Now I have you making bronze arrows, which I still think is valuable, although I'm very concerned that our skill set for these two is not raising like it used to be. We look at Emmerich. I mean, you remember how fast that skill was raising before. And now, mm, just ever so slowly. It's just not at the same level when he's not making stone knives. It's so good. And that is one of those things where hindsight, 2020, if I would have been starting with stone knives at the beginning and just focused on stone knives at the beginning, I could have had a couple people at really high level and then rotated them into making things like copper knives or stone knives and things like that. Okay. I need my people who are... Oh, and we ran out of planks already. Yeah, that explains a lot there. That's good news, actually, in a lot of ways. That's actually really good news in a lot of ways. The reason why is because that puts us at a spot where we... I'm going to drop you down a bit. And let's try another plan. Let's do some copper knives. Copper knives, for me, don't give a ton of tech. I'm hoping what this does is gives them a little bit of upgrade without costing me a lot in the process. It will drastically change the amount of sticks we have. I forgot, we had an extraction skill. It puts us at 8. We've already got Careful Miner, which is fantastic. We've got Mule. I think at this point, I would like to do the faster mining because sometimes I'm in there and I really like the idea of going quicker. I would also like to get some of the treasure stuff maybe at some point, but I, I think that's a solvable thing with... I think that's solvable in the future when we decide that we're done with things. What's left in the day? It is 5.45, or 5.15. I'm pretty sure they end their day at 6. So the amount of time that I have to go back and make the planks and then put them in the resource storage is not significant enough. So I'm not going to be able to actually get back in time to then put the planks in so that they'll produce any amount of things worth talking about. Uh, but I should have checked it earlier, obviously, right? So this is, I try to play the game authentically for y'all. That's, that's my goal. I don't want to, I don't want to come into the game practicing ahead of time and then doing everything perfect, right? So like, I wouldn't find that enjoyable to watch because I'd be like, well, yeah, of course you're doing everything perfect if you practice before you record. Like, I get that, you know, you would of course do things perfectly. I would expect that. Um, and maybe minor mistakes along the way, because you're Space Cadet. Um, that's me. But I want to make sure I'm recording as authentically as I can. Yeah. I just realized something. I want to go hunting. Now that we have a bow. Okay. The reason for that is, of course, I want more fur. I have a bunch of decorating to do next season. And we need more fur, which means we need a buyer. You there. Or two of them. All right, I got you, bear. I see you over there, making fun of me. Actually, no, 
be making fun of you up here. But I have the high ground, bear. You are the chosen one, bear. Okay, maybe not. But force is strong with this one. Not the bear. Bear is having trouble. They can't <clears throat> bear it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Bad jokes. Bad jokes aside. There we go. Two bears later. We have a good collection of meat. And we also have a large collection of fur. And a lot of bronze arrows to pick back up because they don't stick to bears. As well as they stick to other things. Hey. Ooh, look at that. Washing down the river right towards me. Thank you. Nope. Get it. Might as well get a drink of water while we're here. Fresh water this time. I'm letting my character drink real water that should be drank, not stagnant water from a swamp. <laughs> Although I do that to our poor guy all the time. I'm sure he just loves me. All right. And there we go. I do enjoy when he says things like, it looks like I forgot about food. Again. Because it definitely strikes close to true, you know? Get you... We'll get a few shots in on you, and then we'll rush over there once Don comes over here. Donnie, where are you at? Right? Okay. Got you, donkey. Got you. Okay. 61 fur. Hmm. Interesting. Did they change the amount of fur you get from a bear? Because I thought you got 80 fur from a bear at one point. Or perhaps it was 40, which would have put us at 80 for two bears. That is a lot less than it used to be. I wonder if they did a rebalancing and I just didn't notice. Because that does seem like less. Hmm. I do remember bears giving a ton. Bison still giving a ridiculous amount of leather, which is awesome. But also, eh, is it fair? I don't know. It certainly works, right? All right, I think I got all my arrows back. That's good. All right, y'all. Let's see here. I need to make more planks. And I need to make more things. I'm also kind of curious to see what the stick population is looking like in our resource storage. As I'm wondering if we've actually struck a balance yet or not. I also need to check my traps before the end of the season because why would I build the traps if I'm not going to use them to do the thing, right? Well, that'll be the thing that we do. I'll remember, I swear. Oh, look at that. We still have some limestone to put on here. We do have upgrading to do for a lot of buildings. Go figure. We have a lot of buildings to upgrade. Happy to have cleared out the rot here. These buckets of water are in the wrong place. I have these here because I wanted to... I absolutely wanted to um, cook up some, something. I wanted to cook up some breads. We don't have enough stuff to do that, unfortunately. Beet roots going down. Got a lot of flour. Got a lot of meat. Got a lot of meat with gravy. Got a lot of onions. Need a lot of plates. Got a lot of roach. Hmm. Look at all this roasted fish meat. Oh, we are going to sell that stuff. Hey. Uh-oh. Problems. We are in trouble. Looks like we're going to do a whole lot of craft and rot. Uh, <laughs> I know that that's going to sound a little... A little cringy on the um, efficiency, but um, bless you. It is going to be tricky. What I'm saying here is that uh, our storages, our food storages are too small in comparison to what we are trying to make. And that's a problem. All right. Now let's do this. Put the meat here. And I wanted to we'll take care of the fishies real quick. Let's get them done, just because it's... Whoa, hold up. Interesting. I thought I had a hundred fish on me. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Uh, you're telling me I don't have roach? There it is. Roach is down here. Silly man. I love it when the donkey laughs. I love that um, that sound effect. That makes me so happy, because it always comes at the right time for me, where it's like, I just did something silly, and then I hear Don laughing in the background. It's just so... I love it. It just... it makes my day. It makes me happy. All right. We have a lot of roasted fish meat. We will be selling this. But I think we're going to discover that we'll be selling this at every person that we can get away with. All righty. I said I wanted to do a quick experiment, y'all. So let's go do that. 
Let's do that on camera before this is done because I think that that's worth your time. So let me wrap this up, but let's do a little quick experiment. Let's check a thing out and then I'll just do the rest of my wrap up stuff and I'm not going to stress it. I'd like to, I will finish up some production things here before the end, of course, but let's just try this out. Let's just try this out. Let's see what happens. All right, man. Now I do not need to drink the I don't need to drink the rye beer just yet because I'm not worried about the carry capacity. We are actually actually just here for the trying this out. So let's do that. My vision, because I'd like you to be able to see what's going on. We are drunkenly going in the mine. <laughs> One. Two. Bam. Yes, indeed. So I'm happy to note that one. Check this out. One, two, done. Now, the next thing I would do on top of that, looks like that's my thing. I'm popping a potion of stamina. I'm popping a plum wine. I may not have to do a plum wine, so we'll try that next time. And with the speedy, speedy, with our speedy, speedy thing. Holy cow, look at us go. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, duh. That's great. All right, well, it looks like I'll be doing some very efficient mining in the near future. All right, y'all. I appreciate you being here, as always. Grateful to have you here. Glad to have you join me. I'm just going to wrap up the things before the end of the day here, and I also have to start getting ready for the daily real-world grind. So I hope you have a good day in your daily, and I hope it's not too much of a grind, and I hope that you take care until next time we meet. See you again.